multiplied this third degree polynomial by this first degree polynomial using synthetic division. First we're going to start by writing the coefficients of the third degree polynomial which are 6, negative 18, positive 13, and negative 3. So then we're going to put these lines across so they can help us. So after this, on the outside, we're going to write the opposite of negative 2, which is 2. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring 6 down. And then we're going to multiply 2 times 6, which is 12. And we're going to put it uh, on the bottom of negative 18. So then we're going to add these together, which is going to be negative 6. Then we're going to multiply again. Uh, negative 2 times negative 6 which is negative 12 and then brings down 1 so we multiply again 2 times 1 and this is 2 so then we get negative 1 So after we're done, we simplify, and we can say, this is our remainder, this is our constant, this is our x term, and this is our x squared term. So this is going to be x squared, and then negative 6, x plus 1 with the remainder of negative 1 but we can write negative 1 over x the x minus 2 on our second example of synthetic division we'll be dividing a similar, a similar problem like the first one. So again, like in the first one, we will write the coefficient of the third degree polynomial, which are 4, 3, negative 3, and negative 2. And then we're going to put this thing again. And like in the first the one, we will put the opposite of positive 2 on the outside, which is negative 2. So we will first we will bring the 4 down, which is it's just 4, of course. Then we will multiply negative 2 by 4, which is negative 8. And negative. And then we will add these, which will be negative 5. And then we multiply again negative 2 times negative 5, which is positive 10. So this will be 7, and then we will multiply negative 2 times positive 7, which is 14, and we will add these, and this is negative 12, and 
then we're going to simplify. So this is going to be 4x squared minus 5x plus 7 with a remainder of 12 of negative 12 so this is going to be negative 12 over x plus 2 and that is your answer by now we must feel very comfortable pretty comfortable using synthetic division so for our last example we will be dividing x to the power of 3 minus 2x plus 2 divided by x minus 4 so first we will start off by writing the coefficient but since this x to the power of 3 has no coefficient in the front uh, on the front in the front it's just going to be 1 so it's going to be 1 but we're missing the co we're missing x to the power of 2 so there's just going to be a 0 there and then it's going to be negative 2 positive 2 and then the opposite of negative 4 is 4 so we're going to bring the 1 down the 4 times 1 is 4 and 0 plus 4 is 4 4 times 4 is 16 16 minus 2 is 14 14 times 4 is 56 56 plus 2 is 58 so this is going to be we're going to write right here again. Our answer simplified will be one x to the power of two plus four four x with a constant being. 14 and our remainder is 58 and over over x 